loved this movie and I can't wait to rewatch it and for everyone else to see it. It was fantastic. Thank you so much. Of course. So I want to start off by asking you about the tone because I felt like it was just perfect. It's very rewatchable. It's very fun. It's very, you know, dark comedy vibes. Was this always the tone you wanted to play with or did you consider going darker at any point? I th- there's definitely a darker movie in there. There's a darker script that we played around with, but it was always meant to be this very fun, campy teen movie tone. Like we wanted to pay homage to, and we were very inspired by the films of the nineties and early two thousands. So it was always going to live somewhere between, you know, like clueless and jawbreaker. Like that was the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, the fashion in it alone had me like my jaw was dropped. It was Alana Moore's head snapped. She oh my god! <laughs> like <laughs> I wanted the whole wardrobe. Yes, it was possible. Yes, <laughs> and I really think there's so many great messages hidden in this film for you. you know young women in society and expectations we face and teenagers in general and the vulnerable state we're in and how cruel this time could be. So I'm curious for you, is there a message you kind of took or any different theme that you're hoping audiences really land on? I think you nailed it. I mean, this film, it's meant to be fun. It's not meant to live in reality. It's not a slice of life by any means. So I don't think it's meant to reflect, you know, a teenager's <laughs> a teenager's <laughs> everyday life. Um, I really hope it doesn't. Uh, in but I also, time. <laughs> yes, but I also think, you know, I, I, I do think that there's a lot of truth in the emotional story that we're telling and, you know, the idea of trauma bonding and, you know, the the ways in which, especially when we are young, we take the wrong route to get to the right place. Yeah, definitely. And I'm curious for you, this project is your sophomore film, which literally like, congrats, this was such an amazing one. But is there something specific you learned on this project from doing it that you feel like you're going to use almost in your future work? Um... I think it's, you know, something that I did in, in the pre-production process, working with Alana Morse as the costume designer and Hillary Gertler, the production designer, and Brian Burgoyne, the DP, was we had a lot of meetings together. We had, you know, I think that the world is really beautiful and vibrant and candy colored, but everything works in concert with each other. And that was because we did a lot of you know, there was a lot of preparation where everyone was talking and it was really about not just creating a look, not just creating a set, but creating a frame. And so that is something that I will take into everything I ever make. This is kind of a, a harder question for you, but I have to ask it because when I saw the cast list for this, I was in awe. But for you working on the project, obviously co-writing, directing, being on that set, was there a character that you were kind of most excited to see the actor transform into on screen? I know that's so hard because it's so hard. That's like all did amazing. Your child, um, <laughs> I, you know what I'll say? Everyone surprised. There were everyone surprised me in different ways, um, and I think everyone brings something different to their characters and to the screen. I think Austin Abrams is someone that every choice he made and every nuance in the Max performance is just like so delicious and so fun and so him. Maya mm-hmm. Hawk was, you know, always you know, always challenging me in and being a writer and talking about the scenes and interrogating Eleanor's kind of emotional state. And Cam- Camilla Mendez, who I, I truly believe is a movie star and her performance knocks me out. Just being able to watch Cammy embody Drea and just walk onto that set and be Drea, like blew my socks off. So I think that everyone really everyone is so good. And every day I would say I had a different favorite. So that means that every, so that I had a, I had, everyone was my favorite at some point. Um, But yeah, every day, I think I was, I was surprised and thrilled and inspired by the cast. And lastly, do you have a favorite filming memory or just a moment on set with everyone coming together for this film? My favorite days were the days where everyone was there. Like that, that was the best. It was the best when everyone was together. Um, I think my favorite day was the day we shot the walk and talk through the school where Talia Ryder is giving Maya Hoff, Gabby is giving Eleanor um, the tour of the school. Cause that honestly, beyond the fact that the entire cast was there, which was really fun. It felt, I was like, oh, this is, a, this is like a teen movie. I get to, yeah. you know, I grew up loving these movies and I was like, oh, I get to make one of them. This is so cool. Uh, so that, that was definitely my favorite day. Thank you so much, John. It was really a pleasure speaking with Thank both you. of you. Thank you. I so can't much. wait for everyone else to see this. Thank you. Too. And I'm excited for you to rewatch it. Yeah. Right. Already doing it. <laughs> Oh, boy. Bye. 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 Bye.
a nerd who's just like you Talking about the things that you like too So I invite you to the NOC In full color, you see me? The hard knock life Comics, movies, and TV yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this